Yesterday, in Rick Pitino's return, St. John's lost by one point to a ranked team for the second time this season as they lost to Marquette at the Garden, 73-72. It was a close game throughout with an electric crowd, and a 9-2 run in the first half gave the Johnnies a six-point lead heading into the half. St. John's had the halftime lead despite the fact that they had 11 turnovers in the first half to Marquette's five. There's a reason why Marquette leads the Big East in turnover margin. Part of this lead was because, though, that Marquette did not sink a single three-pointer or a single free throw in the first half. Marquette came back early in the second half, though, as they stormed back and took a 10-point lead at one point, and led by 10 with 7 minutes and 44 seconds to go. The Johnnies weren't going to go down that easy, though, as they had a comeback of their own, only falling short because Danis Jenkins missed a buzzer beat of three that would have given them the win. I was hurt because I didn't hold my foul to I feel I know that's why I missed the shot. Rick Pitino's presence was definitely felt in this game after a 15-point loss to Seton Hall in their last game. He spoke about his takeaways after the game. You know, when we lost to Creighton, I think you could see how happy I was about the loss because there's no moral victories. But tonight, there was a moral victory. So I think we were undermanned. I thought our guys showed amazing character down the stretch to fight back against a very seasoned ball club that was picking us apart um, defensively. Um, so, although we lost and I'm disappointed, um, I thought it was a great effort by our guys, and I can't complain about the way they played. They, they ran their offense, they went back door, they, they, they did some really, really good things tonight. Are you from New York? I am. Okay. So, here was my pregame speech. You all got to get off Joel Soriano. Not you, my team I'm talking about. You all got to get off of him. Joel Soriano didn't lose Seton Hall. Ledlam, you lost it. Dingo, Naheem, all you guys lost it. Don't be putting on him. He's one man. St. John's will try to bounce back at the Garden against Villanova Wednesday at 8.30, while Marquette visits DePaul next Wednesday at 9. With WFEV Sports, I'm Will Jing.